What's going on guys? Clutch here with your mod hub update. Last mod hub update of the week. We've got seven new mods, two new maps, and two mods which have been updated. Everything we're talking about today is available for all platforms. Xbox, PlayStation 4, PC, and Mac have access to all these mods. Let's dive into this first. Looking over on our left here, we've got a couple of plows to go look at. This here is the Lemkin Diamond 12. It is a four and a half meter plow, has a max working speed of 17 kilometers an hour and requires 225 horsepower. Price is 45,000, zero options. And right beside that, we have the Curveland BE6 plow. This is a 1.8 meter plow, so substantially smaller. Required power is 120 horsepower. Max working speed is 15 kilometers per hour and it sells for $12,000. So you gotta have things at both edges of the spectrum here. I guess this is more of a mid-range plow. A little bit larger for sure. Maybe one of the larger ones. Uh, both new plows in the mod hub. The Curveland BE6 right here. And next up, we have a new tractor. The Schnultner 2500 VL. This is a medium-sized tractor. It goes for $124,000. It's 240 horsepower. And it does 32 kilometers per hour. It's kind of an interesting looking tractor. Um... You have a couple of different options for wheels. Uh, no other options for, for paint or for engine sizes. There are doubles you can put on it, but no skinnies. So uh, mediums, wides, and doubles. That's really much the total options you're going to have with this. Now, let's just jump inside this. And there's one issue I do have with this. Now, this is a four-wheel steer, steer tractor. Uh, everything does work. As you can see, got our beacons, our lights, all that fun stuff. However... The turning radius is kind of weak, <laughs> like really weak. Um, if I crank this right over, that is fully turning right now. Now, even with four-wheel steer, that seems really weak to me. Um, that John Deere would, would do donuts around this thing as we were trying to turn here. Like, I couldn't even turn back there. Let's see, if I try and turn back around, will that work? Come on, turn, turn. Wow, come on. It's just not great at turning. That's bizarre. Yeah, this is going to be the worst turning tractor I have seen in FS19, to be honest. But anyways, that there is the Schroeder 2500 VL. Uh, just not a great turner. And next up, we have the Jens Hem 583Z. This, of course, looks very similar to our in-game one. I think this one almost is identical. Uh, my understanding is there's some updates to this one to give it some more wear patterns. So if you decide to go with it, the prices are the same. So if you decided to go with one or the other, just go with a mod. It should give you, eh, look a little bit better potentially. However, if you decide to upgrade, you can go with the FC cab as well. Now, this is an optionable item for this particular unit. Now, you also have some coloring options you can change up as well on the new one. There's about seven or eight different colorings for the main body. And as well, the articulating arm can be switched from red to black. So those are the two options. Of course, you have wheel options as well. Uh, look at the wheels we got on these. They're like super fatties. Good size wheels. They look good. So that there is the Jens Hem 583. It's 88,000 bucks is your base price. Same as the standard Jens Hem in the store right now. And since we're talking about forestry equipment, let's take a quick look at the HJM Double Claw. This is a wheel loader attachment, as you can see here. There is not an option to adjust the, uh, the claws independently. As you can see, they both go congruently. No way to adjust that. There's no options available to this double claw. Um, it comes in black, and everything you see here is how it comes. It goes for just shy of 6000 I think 595 something like that. So just shy of $6,000. And that there is the HJM double claw. And our last new piece of equipment mod is the MAN TGS 41500 IT Runner. This is a quad axle truck. Looks great. Uh, it's got options for wheels, of course, as we expect. It's got some engine options and paint. That's about it for the options on this. So it sells for anywhere between 195000 and 215000 depending on basically your engine configuration. Its base power is 430 horsepower, up to 510 horsepower. Now, there are a few options for paint more than just the norm. This is one of the... Uh, kind of different options I suppose you could change the cab coloring you could change the frame you can see the frame is blue underneath our cargo bin here and of course the rims are also colorable we've got gone with a chrome rim you can change the colors of those as you see fit as well now one thing I did want to see 
is so this is obviously a longer bed so this goes with the a longer size or the larger size bins i've got a smaller flat deck right here one of the small sized ones i wanted to see how it would react when we connect to it i know some of the other it runner stuff has had issues when you mix these pieces of equipment up so let's drop this bin and just see what happens to our truck once the, the lower one gets connected onto it if it has any issues whatsoever now I don't think you'd ever do this, but you never know. You may need to move some equipment around, and this may be the best option for you. Now you can see it's got double turnable axles, of course, up front, as required. Otherwise, that wouldn't work <laughs> the way it's set up. And connect. There we go. So let's bring this up on the deck and see what happens. I'm sure it'll be fine coming up. It's going off that I've seen issues happen in the past. No, not a problem at all there. So sometimes it gets kind of hung up on those back wheels, the roll wheels. Now let's see what happens when it goes off. Nope, doesn't seem to have any issues there. It worked as designed. That is perfectly okay. Excellent. Well, that's good to know. Not a problem at all with it. Excellent. So that there is the TGS 41500 IT Runner. And the last new mod we received is the Placeable Straw Barn. We have three different coloring options. They come as three different, obvious, three different options in the store. They sell for 50000 bucks. They're approximately 18 by 23 And the prices fluctuate for products sold, kind of like any other store you'd place in-game. So these are the placeable straw barns. These are actually really nice looking. I'll scooch around back just to give you a quick shot at it. Edge Barn Deluxe. So they come in three colors. And the prices will fluctuate just as any in-game store would. And as for the two new maps, today we receive Presmasawa. This is a 41 area map, 32 fields, two forests, and three stationary purchase points. I guess the train has been talked about a lot on this map as being a kind of a key feature on how the train works. So that's Presmasawa. As well, we received Rogue River. That is a forestry map. All forestry all the time. As for updates, the placeable large cow pasture has been updated. And as well, Lou Bartleshagen has an update, which is ironically what we're on right now. As well, information on a patch for Farming Simulator 19 has been released for patch 1.4, going to be released Tuesday, June 18th, 2019. This patch will include some fixes, of course, for large foli foliage draw distances, improved day-night transitions, reduced lighting flickering, uh, this is vehicle improvements, uh, vehicle sound improvements rather, and a few others. We'll see what we get when this fully gets released. There may be a few other things that are not mentioned on this. We'll take a look when it comes out, but that is on June 18th, patch 1.4 will be releasing. But that's going to do it for the last Mod Hub update of the week. I guys hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below, of course. Love to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you've already done so. And we'll see you guys next time. This is Clutch, over and out.